Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Milton Memorial Arena. This afternoon, it's the St. Michael's Buzzers and the Milton Ice Hawks. Here's our players to watch. Steven Petrobon is our player to watch for the St. Michael's Buzzers. He's our leading scorer, 19 points in 16 games, and he's been on a tear as of late for the Toronto Natives. Our player to watch for the Milton Ice Hawks is the defenseman and the captain, number 21, Justin DeVincentis. DeVincentis has racked up plenty of assists, nine assists, in 11 games. Here's the starting goaltenders for this afternoon's affair. Starting in goal is Adrian Ignani for the St. Michael's Buzzers. There you see a great record of 10 wins in 14 games played. And Braden Mann, he just came off injury, made his debut Friday night for the Ice Hawks. Now gets his second chance. He's one for one. We'll see what he can do this afternoon. Here's the Buzzers coming in down the right wing. Quick shot off the post. Oh, the rebound fired on goal and it caught the goal post, Braden Mann will be thanking him at the next stoppage of play. And the buzzers go on the power play, the first of the game. Setting up. That's McCarron. Gets it once again. There's a one-timer, scores! What a one-timer by Matt Buckles. And that one gets over the glove of Braden Mann. It's a quick power play goal, and the buzzers lead one to nothing. From Patrick McCarron. That one coming on the power play here at 220. We'll take another look. Watch this shot. Top shelf. A beautiful one timer there from Buckles. And the buzzers lead one to nothing. The Gourlay wasn't able to get his first shot off. He finally got one on, and Ignani had to make the save. There's Haley. Nice little inside out move. But he can't get a shot away. For Fari got him tied up. For Fari and Burns trying to clear it out. Daniel Holt's in there to help them out as well. And Pace out there. The We're taking another look at this great move by Tom Haley. But he couldn't get a shot off as Burns and Fafari had him tied up. Can't get it out first time. Kept in by Arnold. Nice job. Pace slides over to Bennett. Bennett's shot. Oh, and a great glove save by Adrian Ignani. Get it out first time. Kept it. Bennett's shot. Oh, and a great glove save by Adrian Ign Jake Evans. Joseph Burton. So a young squad with some veteran presence as well. 
Here's Troy Josephs. Josephs gloves it down and keeps it in. High shot there from the high slot. That one was stopped. Wiping out in front of the Milton bench was Steven Petrobon, and he felt that one as he led off. Let's take another look as Elliott comes in here and takes out Petrobon. And oh, Petrobon goes into the boards there. Feet first, and he kind of gets his legs all mixed. Taking a wide, trying to cut towards the goal. Still with the puck. And a nice job there by Evans. Gets over to Buckles. Buckles is passed. Oh, what a save by Braden Mann. We'll take another look here. This great passing play. Look at the save from Braden Mann as he just robbed Shugart on the doorstep. McCarron across to Evans. Over to Buckles. Buckles shot. That one gets through. A power play marker, and it's Matt Buckle's second of the afternoon, and St. Mike's leads three to nothing. Over to Burns. Burns passes it. Gloved down by Gourlay. Gourlay finds Holt. Holt shot. That one stopped on the blocker. And the puck here on the front. They score. Jonathan Mutita cleans up the rebound. And the Ice Sacks are on the board. They're now down 3-1. to one. About to hit the goaltender. So Mutita picks it up. Holt takes the shot. And then one goes off the goalie. Off the glass. Comes right through the crease. And Mutita is able to put it home. And the Ice Hawks are on the board, as mentioned, down 3-1. to one. That's a big goal as Jonathan Butita gets his fifth of the season. Coburn goes over to Kosak. Kosak back to Coburn. Coburn down low to Daniel Holt. Holt has it. He finds Kosak. One-timer from DeVincentis is blocked. Gets it to the front. Spinning Elliott, and he scores! Kane Elliott! And the Ice Sox are within one. And it's a power play marker. As we'll take another look at it, Kosak goes across. Steven Sentis, one timer got blocked, but Elliott spins and slaps it home. And with that, the Ice Hawks get a power play goal, a huge power play goal, and they are only down by one. Puck is tipped and goes out. He's out his man, puts it out the side of the goal. They whack away at it. Where's the puck? They continue to jam away, and now the whistle finally blows. As Pace has a man tying him up, that's Shugart. And I guess the puck was underneath Ignani. He lost his helmet. So the Ice Hawks just crashing towards the goal. Nice forecheck there from Michael Capicato. As we see him come charging into the zone. And Walsh just takes himself out as he tried to retrieve the puck. And Capicato tried to shovel it home there. And it was underneath Ignani. But you see Pace came in as this one's brought along and we're gonna have a penalty going to Gourlay. It's gonna be a hooking call and his stick was being held. That's what the Milton bench is yelling. But we got a penalty with 101 left here in the second period of play. So we'll, we'll take another look here as you see Gourlay gets, gets his stick in there and his stick's being held there for a second. So hooking the call. And now I'm joined here at ice level by Austin Kosak. Austin, that was a great second period for your team. You guys are now only down by one. What turned it around there in the second frame? Uh, you know, we just got to get back to our game against Mississauga. Started off slow too, came back. I don't know, we just got down basics, played our game. I'm back right back in this game. Right, and uh, how important is the penalty kill? Because you guys have given up two goals so far, but you know, this is a big penalty kill coming up for the final 59 seconds of that penalty to Gourlay. Uh Yeah, you know, we got to keep it going. We've been doing it like... It was a little bad in the first period to score on that, but uh, we obviously did the discipline. Can't let him get anymore because the power play is good. So, All right. Well, best of luck in the third period of play. And uh, after two periods of play, it's the St. Michael's Buzzers three and the Milton Ice Hawks two. We'll be back with the third period of play coming up. Tried to hop around McCarron. McCarron's clearing a temple's blocked by his own player. 
Patrick Arnold pinches in to keep it in deep. Shane Bennett picks it up. Bennett goes across. Puck comes off the boards pretty fast. Steven Sentis couldn't handle. Nice move, bringing this one in. Look at this pass across. Shot, and they score. Italiano buries it off of the beautiful move by Ted Hunt to get it in deep. Ted Hunt just dangles his way in, finds Italiano, and St. Mike's has restored their two-goal lead. That's a big goal for the buzzers. As we take another look, Matt Buckles. That was actually Buckles that brought that in. Wow, that was a nice job by Matt Buckles. It's Troy Joseph is also going to get the other assist. And just like that, it's a two-goal lead now for the buzzers. So Matt Buckles is doing it all. He's got two goals of his own. He's setting up goals left, right, and center. Down low to Holt. Holt puts it out in front, and they're not able to redirect it to the goal. Nice job by Butita. Gets it over there, Tyler Burns. Butita, back to Burns. They're in some tight quarters there. There's a shot. Backhander scores! Daniel Holt in his first game with the Ice Sox puts home the rebound, and the Ice Sox are back within one. So a big goal there for Daniel Holt and the Ice Sox. As with that, Spencer Gourlay is going to get an assist. And so is Rocky Ferfari. Ferfari threw it to the net. Gourlay in front, and Holt will bury it on the rebound. And the Ice Hawks are now within one, and they're coming back after the buzzers. Behind the goal line. Pass that one ahead there for Ryan Burns. There's a check. There's a shot, and that one was stopped. And there's going to be a penalty coming up to the buzzers as getting absolutely bowled over. That was Kane Elliott. He got run over, and interference is probably going to be the call here with 7.56 left here in the third. So interference is the call. David Italiano will head off as we'll take another look. Here was the great chance there for Bennett, and then you'll see right there, Elliott gets wiped out as he was going to the net for a rebound. Tries to throw it into the slot, taken away by Josephs. Josephs puts it onto the stick of Buckles, and Buckles has the hat trick as he buries it, and St. Mike's has all but wrapped this one up. They are going to defeat the Milton Ice Sox, and Matt Buckles, a big part of that, as he's got the hat trick. And that'll do it. The St. Michael's buzzers, powered by three goals from Matt Buckles, defeat the Milton Ice Sox by a score of 5-3. to three.